Hey guys, <laughs> um, I just wanted to start this video off saying I'm sorry, this is the worst makeup tutorial ever. While I was doing this, I changed my lighting like five times. Like my, like my mind was just not functioning during a lot of it. And even the lighting's bad, like you can see, oh, whatever. I just need to figure out my lighting situation. I need to figure out a lot of stuff. Enough of the excuses. You guys want to do a makeup tutorial by me, so you got one. <laughs> I tried, so you're welcome. But I will do a proper makeup get ready with me soon. But one thing I wanted to say was we hit 200,000 subscribers. I got my 100,000 subscriber plaque, and I am so thankful. Thank you so much. Thanks for being the most lovely, supportive, sweetest beans to ever exist. You are my little berries and I love you so much. I'm so thankful for all the lovely kind comments on my last couple of videos and I would love to keep making videos to make you guys smile and laugh and be happy. So. Anyway, enough of the fluffy stuff. Hopefully you survive my like headache of a makeup tutorial. So so I asked on Instagram if I was to do a YouTube tutorial what you guys would like. I posted this picture up. I'm just gonna try and do yeah like my normal orange eye and nude lip and I haven't really like thought or scripted any of this out so I don't really know what I'm gonna say or do. Or... Anyway because I'm dry I just put on like five different types of moisturizer. Now I'm gonna do professional for this, these areas here, and I think, yeah, just this area here. And then I have this other primer. Uh, I've had this for a long time, but it is pretty much the only primer, ah! the only primer I have that actually makes foundation sit on my face and there is like none left. I might have to cut this bad boy open at some point. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you press really hard and it just sucks back in? Oh, okay, I got a little bit. So I get skin texture along my jawline and on my forehead because of my acne scarring. It's actually not too bad at the moment. Yeah, and it's all from like when I had acne, it was just all here and up my cheeks. You can see my cheeks are a bit red. But my skin's smooth, that's the thing. It is all just scarring. For foundation, I've recently been using this Revlon Color Stay in the lighter shade Avery. Um, did I say Avery or Ivory? Ivory. Put this on with foundation. Ah! With a Mac foundation brush. God, I really shouldn't be doing this. Put that on. I really want a beauty blender. Can anyone recommend me a good beauty blender? That would be great. Right now it's summer, so I kinda have like, I wouldn't say I have like a tan, but in summer I'm just a lot pinker than normal. I really need a foundation that's like hydrating and that doesn't pick up on texture. Cause as you can, this is already getting really dry and textured. Well, that's okay. I've just accepted that I am, oh god, I'm really scared to see how this looks on camera. I will probably end up deleting this whole video. <laughs> okay, and because I have the driest lips in the world, I constantly reapply pop off. 
Um, what's next? All right, next I'm gonna use two found two concealers. Um, I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin in Fair Neutral, and then I have Kat Von D Whiteout in the Whiteout color. I've got really like solid dark circles under my eyes, so I put a lot of layers of makeup under my eyes. Put a little bit up here and here where my acne dents are. Yeah, I really want to get a beauty blender for moments like this as well. So that's foundation and concealer done. I'm going to use my uh, MAC Paint Pot in Let's Skate. It's so cute. I got it in Japan. So it's all in Japanese. I've been using this Paint Pot for years now. I used to think Paint Pot was a highlighter or something to make you like more glowy. Okay, this lighting is atrocious. Is that, oh, is that any better? Is that even any better? I feel like, you know what I'll have to do. Anyway, so I used my paint pot and now I'm going to set my makeup. I used a little bit of Kat Von D setting powder and then I used Demo Blend as well. So the Kat Von D one, I kind of use all over except like I just use it like, oh, there is not much left. Is there any left? This is the transparent one as well. Right, so the Kat Von D one, I kind of just pat all over. There is like no product left. No, <laughs> I am scraping the barrel. And then, so Lena Bugs recommended me this Derma Blend in the white. Let's just, I've been using it a lot under my eyes and it does not crease or dry me out, which is like a miracle. So I'll use this under my eyes on top of my cheekbones and I'll use it along my jawline where I want to reflect a lot of light off my acne scarring and there's probably powder flying everywhere and then I kind of do some in the center of my face as well kind of make my nose oh all right let's just do the whole nose then I am doing the most atrocious job oh my god what have I done but that's okay I'll figure it out um, okay remain huh Let's just do my eyebrows next, shall we? So, brush that monobrow makeup out of it. I don't know how people do makeup on camera. Like, I have no idea how you can concentrate on so many things. Honestly, I'm so impressed. Now, I have a very used Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in Tor. So, I've got like a little angled brush. So, I don't know. Um, my eyebrows are as good as they're gonna get. I don't know what's going on. I'm a mess. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Okay, now my skin's kind of like settled. The foundation and powder isn't looking that bad. So that's good. Let's do some contour. So I have, have always used, oh god, okay this is a MAC blush and it's the colour Harmony and it's this kind of colour. I like it because it is a very cool brown but it's not grey which is nice. So I'll just, whoops, that's a lot of product. I cooked that up. Oh my god this is awful. Hide my dirty chins under there. And then I'll put a little bit along here. Not much though, I'm not very good at the whole nose contour thing. But I'll put a bit at the bottom. And then blush, I have a MAC blush again and this is full of joy. Which is the cutest blush colour ever. And I'll kind of put that all over 
my kind of whole cheek going up here as well. I like a lot of blush because I'm so pale. I just want to look like I have some kind What was I even gonna say? Some kind of color in my flesh. And then what I've been doing lately is going in with this Urban Decay Afterglow palette that Taylor got me for Christmas. And I get this like peroxide color here and um, the bliss color. And I'll kind of circle these two together and kind of pop them on and kind of just give my cheeks the most like radiant glowy fun going on here even though i'm about to do like a orange eyeshadow look i glow nothing i threw right now but here i am so now i have like just so much shine going on on my cheeks and it's so cute and happy lighting is so bad okay what about this this So I'm going to use the Kali Cosmetics Coco K Lip Liner. I will like severely overdraw my lips because this is just for the internet. So it's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Alright, so while we're... So I'm going <laughs> to... This is like the worst makeup tutorial ever. Peach palette. Happening. Let's do it. I am going to use four brushes for my eyes. I used this kind of flat, squarey brush guy for patting down uh, the base color. I used this fluffy guy for like everything, pretty much everything on the top. And then I use this square, but like firmer, slightly longer brush for the high, but like the brow bone and this bit in here. And then I use this pointy stiff guy for uh, under my eyes and that's and maybe if I'm doing like a bit of shape like here then yes those are my four brushes because I had a couple of comments asking like how to do eyeshadow and that's kind of like the depth of my knowledge so um, I'm gonna use this you can tell I have very much hip pan on this like white peach color here in the corner because I use that as my base. I'll just put like a car full of layers. And then I'll use my fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into Peaches and Cream and Georgia and lay down another kind of base color but just kind of focus on the actual lid. So I'll put down this kind of like base and then I will get uh, this caramelized color and I'm just gonna like just constantly be just like rolling this around because if it's all kind of one color then it's blended right kind of get it out here and here get the summer yum and then put that in this corner here and then try and go along a little bit lower with summer yum not quite sure what I'm doing but here we are See, I feel like this lighting is working out. This is, this is happening. Okay, okay. And then it's not so like brown because it's got all that like orange underneath it. Okay, it's really orange on camera. <laughs> okay. Okay, I've really, what have I done? I'm so orange right now. Okay, bye bye fluffy brush. And then I get pointy brush. And I will then get the Summer Yum and put Summer Yum under here, very lightly. And then I'll get this uh, Talk Derby to me, kind of like dark, whoop, dark purpley colour. Okay, I did not mean for this one to come out so dark, but okay. And then I'll kind of like press it up here a little bit. Okay, I just made my eyes look really sad. I pooped it. And then I'll kind of try and blend that up. Oh. Okay, I've just made my eye look really droopy. That's okay. And then what I'll do is I will then get my all-nighter and spray my face. A little bit of Fix Plus. 
I'm gonna put on eyeliner. This eyeliner I bought in Japan. It's got Japanese all over it. I bought it and it was like $2 from some kind of pharmacy. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I got it because I was kind of desperate. I didn't have anything with me. I kind of don't like it because it is shiny, like it has a shine to it, but it's kind of cool as a shine to it. So with my eyeliner, you guys asked how I do my eyeliner. Oh my God, this is looking awful. I kind of just do like an even line over the eye first and then make like a nice little like pointy point on the inside here and then I'm not quite sure how to explain what I do because I kind of just like panic constantly. Fake eyelashes just seem to save me. <laughs> I don't know if I'll end up using any of this footage because it just seems like trash to me right now. I'm kind of having like a little crisis. I definitely need to like organize like a proper little YouTube corner in my room. Oh my God. Okay. So I did my eyeliner. It's like sort of even. I just don't look like me right now. It's really weird. I'm gonna put my lashes on. I am using the Rouge and Rogue Lux Foam Ink. And it, these are, I think these are Slayer. These are so cool. So I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm literally the worst because I need to put mascara on underneath my eyelashes. So it's gonna be the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. This is one of my favorite mascaras ever. And then I have the Better Than Sex and I usually put this on first and this on afterwards to seal the ends. So, okay. I am done with this. I am over it. I am so bad at makeup tutorials. I literally like put one eyelash on because I spent so much time trying to do my mascara and I messed up my eyeshadow with my mascara then the glue already glued for this eyelash and I hadn't even put it on yet and I'm like so I went to put it on it was already glued dried and I was like okay so my eyelashes are on but let's just continue anyway everything's fine so then I now I'm going to highlight all over myself. So I've got the MAC pigment in vanilla. I love this pigment. It is just so white and pretty. And then I take the fourth brush that I hadn't used yet and I will put it on my little highlight here. Make that little eyebrow pop. And then I'll put a little bit on the tip of my nose because it is so cute. And then I'll then get this little fluffy guy and pat that and then do my highlighter up here. Oh, I love this pigment. I could use this everywhere all the time. I love it. Oh, yes. How pretty is that? <sighs> And then I'll put a bit of purple cream on my lips. And then I have my favorite lipstick, which is Yash by MAC. And it is a really pretty nude matte. My lips are so overdrawn. <laughs> Did not mean to overdraw them that much. So, um, I just looked at myself in the mirror, like proper mirror with proper lighting, not this like or for me attempting to be a YouTuber lashing. And I, I do look like myself, so it's okay. I do look sorta of like Kim. So you can see like, I still have all of this, but. <sighs> Thank you, that was quite requested. Thanks so much for requesting it. I hope you learned something, if anything, or just picked up on what products I use to look like this. 
and just look like a shiny ball of emotion. See you in the next video. My next video will either be a outfit video or a room tour or uh, just something. So um, yeah, let me know what you want and I'll give it to you. So if I have this up by Tuesday or Wednesday, woohoo, three weeks in a row, going really well. So hopefully that's a thing. And I'm organizing to get my old pins remade. I'll put them up on the screen here. So I'm getting them redone and the third design, which I'll tell you about in the next video. And hopefully I will have ordered them by the next video and then they'll come in like a month or so. So I'll update you on that. Okay, bye. <laughs>